Let me show you something real quick. All right. It says, after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, fear not, Abram. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Now, Lord, I want you to be my reward also. But Abram said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is this Elijah of Damascus? And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed. And lo, one born in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir. Uh, someone you got now, you think is yours, is not yours. That is, that will not be your heir. But he that shall come forth out of thy own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth, Radoku, abroad, and said, Look now be toward heaven, and tell the stars if thou shalt be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall I see be. And he received, he, and he believed in the Lord, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And, and he believed in the Lord. And it was counted to him for righteousness. A lot of people saying you got to do works. And faith without works is dead. We know that being alone. But when it says faith without works is dead, being alone. In other words, it's like what that was saying was in James was, if a man says he has faith to get a job, yet don't fill out any applications, that faith can't save you. That's what James was talking about. But what the book, what Genesis is talking about, when it's talking about being righteous, when it's talking about being saved, when it's talking about being filled with the gift of the Holy Spirit, he says you got to believe God and it was counted to you for righteousness and not by works, lest any man should boast. I'll be back.